Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. if you are new here. So tonight, if you notice it is dark out because it's about 5 p.m. in daylight savings time. Am I right? Am I right? Anyways, I did my whole morning time routine. This has just been my morning routine for the past month, month and a half. And I thought that I would do my evening routine with you all as well. So here we are just doing the darn thing. I'm wearing pretty heavy makeup today, so... I always start out with the makeup remover. Let's just roll in and get the ball rolling kind of thing. So here's the oil cleanser I've been using. It's the Tata Harper Nourishing Oil Cleanser. I'm almost empty if you see that. I don't really like that this isn't emulsifying. So basically I have to use this like a traditional kind of, my best words I have for this, a traditional coconut oil cleanser balm where I massage it into my face like I'm doing right now and then I just take cotton rounds these are reusable ones that's why they look kind of dirty I've been using these a while they're clean these are clean by the way I wash them after every time I use them and then this does get in my eyes and kind of make everything foggy it doesn't burn it just makes everything foggy I've been focusing on this for the a good, I guess, month, month and a half, and I'm almost empty with it. Once I have a few more empties in the makeup remover department, what I want to purchase is the One Love Organics, their vitamin B oil cleanser, because it is emulsifying and it does rinse clean. This, if I put water on it, will kind of, it just won't react well with that water and it'll just still sit on my face. So I need to go in with a second cleanse, which I would do anyway, even with the more emulsifying oil cleanser, but I don't know, it just would be nice if it would rinse clean and wouldn't be oily still on my face. So what I've been using is the Blissoma. This has been my nighttime cleanser. They're herbal gel cleanser and makeup remover. This does work well as a makeup remover. It's pretty oily and I do like it in that way. Because I wore such heavy makeup today though, I wanted kind of my Tata Harper one to just really get everything off. So I actually use this first to kind of break everything up and this is emulsifying and this does rinse clean. It probably would have worked with this makeup, but just truly, I feel like I usually only use this cleanser with like medium level makeup where my eyes aren't as pigmented. So I just really did want that kind of powerhouse duo. And I'm just going to go in the bathroom, rinse it clean, and then come back. And then we'll kind of continue with the rest of the process. Okay, so that really does rinse my skin nice and clean. Uh, I was even kind of impressed because I use a lipstick as eyeshadow today. And I don't really have a lot of pigment left. All right, so we're in the winter time. And in the winter is when I start using actives again. I give my skin a break over the summer just because... Whenever I'm using my glycolics, my retinols, my retin-A's, my AHA's, anything that is just going to be super active on the skin, really makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So I always wear sunscreen anyway, but at the same time, I just give my skin a rest in the summertime from these kind of products. But the two I have been using and I have liked are the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive. I've talked about this in favorites before. I highly recommend getting the sensitive one, not the extra strength or whatever it is. There's like one level above this. I believe in getting this one. This one does a great job. I don't even really have sensitive skin. So I feel like using the stronger one is too much and could potentially sensitize your skin. So that's why I would recommend this. Um, and then I also have been using this Andalo Naturals. This is their pumpkin honey glycolic mask. This one's great too. So these are just two active masks I've been using and I use them about twice a week. So I really am pretty sparingly using these products just because they are active. They do turn the skin over faster. It makes your skin just more susceptible to sunburns, to sun damage, things like that. And we all don't want that. So which one am I going to use today? I'll use the Juice Beauty one because I'm trying to empty it out. So this is how much I'm using on my face. It's two dime sizes, maybe two pennies amount. And I'm just going to rub this in, avoiding my eye area. I have a mirror right there, that's why I'm looking down. And this does help to resurface the skin. 
And I have noticed that my hyperpigmentation is less whenever I use this product. I just really have liked this product through the years I've liked it. And it's just kind of been a tried and true for me. So I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll rinse it off after I've waited that 10 minutes and then we'll continue with the rest of the routine. All right guys, so I am back and my face is just baby smooth. That enzyme really did a nice job of exfoliating and it just left my skin really nice and soft and supple. So now I am going to use, this was in my morning skincare routine, so I'm not going to talk that much about it, but it's the Blissoma Sacred Waters Tonique. I'm almost out of this as well. I've liked how it works with my skin. I don't love the scent of it so much. Um, I'm not sure if it's the basil. I don't tend to like basil and oregano kind of scents, so it might just be that. Uh, but that, yeah, that was just the only thing I don't like about it. But I do like the hydrating properties. Um, the ingredients are really good, so yeah. All right, and then I'm just using the same thing that I use in the morning. This is the Patika. Uh, this is the Patika Paris. Um, energizing eye gel. Again, talked about this first time around. I do really like this, but uh, I just don't have much else to say about it. So check out that video if you're more curious about those two products. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of fan my face off, let that absorb into the skin more. In the meantime, I'm just going to talk about this product. On nights that I don't exfoliate with the glycolics, the AHAs, things like that, and if I have a breakout, I will use the Tata Harper. This is their clarifying spot solution on just active blemishes. I swear, guys, I've talked about this quite a bit in the past. I love this. Well, someone's doing something illegal out there. Gotta wait a sec. I would not lead you guys astray. I don't think this is something that just totally cures the blemish overnight and makes your skin look like you've never had any blemishes before. But at the same time, it does really reduce redness more so than any other blemish product I've tried that's supposed to treat single blemishes or just like a couple or whatever that's not more of a serum. So I've liked this. It's really good. I'm not using it right now just because I did use my more active products. I believe this has salicylic in it. I believe. I'll write right here what it's really active about it that makes that redness go down. And I'm serious, makes it go down a ton. All right. And then I have been using this. I got sent this and I was curious about it. It's the Soul Toscana Natural and Organic Neroli Radiant Serum. So this actually has a aloe and glycerin base. I haven't been using this that long to say much about it. This does have some salicylic acid in it. Um, it does have some hyaluronic in it and it has neroli and this company just emailed me and I saw neroli in the title and I was like, heck yeah, I want to try that. Um, it smells more creamy than anything and this is made in Italy. It doesn't really smell so neroli like. My skin has liked this. I've been using this a couple weeks now and I will say that I haven't had any breakouts from it or sensitivities. They say that it brightens, repairs, and smooths the skin. I would say that it kind of softens and smooths and hydrates more than anything. I don't really know much about the brightening and repair. It just doesn't have those actives for that, really. It does have salicylic, but that's not really... It's for other things. So, for hydration, pretty good, and I've liked it for that. All right, and then I've been using the Maya Chia, the Super Blend, just to top everything off. I've loved this product. I think it's amazing. This smells amazing. I have picked up a lot of Maya Chia products here and there, just straight up because of the scents. I think they do a great job of formulating scent profiles. So this is pretty thick. That's why I use this at night. It does absorb into the skin pretty well, but it does kind of leave you looking like a glazed donut. So I would say like, I wouldn't really recommend going out on the town kind of thing. I wouldn't say it's totally occlusive. It still allows your skin to breathe, but at the same time, it it is much thicker than the Indie Lee oil that I use in the morning. So this is just my nighttime product. I like this for night, especially for kind of more dry skin as we head into winter. So yeah, I've really, I've enjoyed this. And I usually do kind of a little like couple minute facial massage just at night with this. Alrighty guys, so that is just my typical nighttime skincare routine. Uh, again, don't do that 
glycolic every night, but it has been part of kind of my treatment for the past, I would say, three weeks. So I've seen good results from it. I feel like my skin looks really nice and glowy. Also, I'll be honest, I am kind of bougie with my skincare routine. I do do an oil cleanse, uh, first, second cleanse, and then I do some sort of toner, then I do some sort of serum, and then I use something to lock it all in, and I also use an under eye cream. I like it. I don't know. That's just me. I do like to use a lot of product on my skin. I will say that it's taken me a while to get to a point where I know what my skin likes and what my skin doesn't. So yeah, this is just kind of where I'm at and the products that my skin does like. So yeah. Alrighty y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my morning skincare routine if you're curious about that as well and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.